And Nick Smith is on the line now. Mr Smith, was your behaviour grossly disorderly? No, it wasn't. It was focusing on an issue that's particularly important for my electorate in Nelson after this horrific accident on New Year's Eve. But it's also important for New Zealand when you've got the government liberalising access to drugs and we now have more people dying on our roads uh, from drug-impaired driving than from drink driving. Where the Speaker was way out of line, and I've been in Parliament for 29 years, is that any member can seek leave of the House for introducing a bill ahead of the normal process. It's normal for the Speaker to put that leave to the House. For the Speaker to inject himself into the process and for him to object to that bill being able to be introduced is way out of line. It's him getting into the political process in the debate rather than being the referee. And that's why I took objection and said I've got a job to do to stand up for my constituents. And indeed, in my view, uh, he's reacting to where the government does have a soft spot and that is around its soft approach on drugs. Are you saying that the Speaker, Mr Mallard, is biased? I'm saying it was totally inappropriate for him to object uh, to my bill being introduced when the long-standing practice is that is for the House to decide, not the Speaker. If the Speaker's going to start making policy decisions on whether a bill should be introduced to enable police to drug test uh, drivers, if he's going to inject himself into the policy debate, then he leaves himself open to criticism. While you say that it wasn't grossly disorderly conduct, well, the, uh, the majority of the House voted that it was to boot you out. So your, your kind of colleagues and peers think you did cross the line. Oh, I think that's being a bit cute in the sense that the coalition government members, Labour, the Alliance, the Labour, New Zealand First and Greens, were the ones that voted for my suspension. The real issue here is this. When this petition was launched, the Minister of Police publicly said clearly recorded by Television New Zealand, that Cabinet had approved a discussion paper on the introduction of roadside drug testing. We now know that was false. Why is So hang on a minute, Mr Smith. Are you you saying that Mr Nash lied today in the House? No. He made a public statement when the petition was launched on this issue on New Year's Eve saying that Cabinet had approved the discussion document. Yes, but today in the House he he said he he he, he didn't recall making that statement, was what he said. That's correct. And now we know that statement is false. We do know that Cabinet never approved such a discussion document. Isn't the real issue that we have a Minister of Police being untruthful about decisions that are being made in Cabinet on an issue that kills a New Zealander on average once every five days. I don't think people will debate the importance of the issue you raised. I suppose the question is whether you conducted yourself appropriately in the way that you raised that. That's the third time you've been booted out in your career, isn't it? So doesn't that suggest oh, look, that sometimes you might misjudge the line? I'm not at, no, I'm not in Parliament to eat my lunch. I'm there to do a job. And when I've got constituents... Look, Matthew Dow would have been 25 today. He lost his life because a pea and cannabis fuel driver being absolutely reckless on the wrong side of the road killed that young man. That happens in New Zealand once every five days. Now, if you want me to go, go off to Parliament and to allow the Speaker to block a proper debate and a bill being introduced on that important issue, well, that's not me. I'm there to do a job and I will challenge whether it be the Speaker whether it be the police minister, whether it be the government, on issues where I feel strongly that the government is doing things that are wrong and things that are going to cost New Zealanders lives. Mr Smith, haven't you just kneecapped yourself, though, because in practical terms you can't do your job now. You're suspended for 24 hours, so what does that mean? You're, you're on the bench, aren't you? Oh, no, quite the opposite. I suspect that there will be far more focus on the issue I feel passionate about, that is, getting drug testing introduced, as is in Canada, as is in the UK and Australia, well, as a consequence of don't the you have an important Don't you have an important select committee tomorrow? You can't vote, you can't transfer your vote, you can't even go Look, into the chamber, you can't be involved can't in, in undo, any, any of the stuff, I really. Can't undo, I can't undo what the Speaker has done. But what I say to New Zealanders is when a Member of Parliament advocating for an issue that's both important and relevant to their constituency, gets kicked out of Parliament for a day, and there's no reprimand at all for a police minister who doesn't tell the truth, 
do we really have the sort of parliamentary democracy that we, that we want for our country? I'll give you one more chance, Mr Smith. Are you saying, given that example that you've just outlined in the way two different people were treated, is Trevor Maillard a neutral referee or is he biased? No, he's not. He's not. He should never have objected to the introduction of the bill. He should have maintained the parliamentary practice that when an MP such as myself seeks leave for a bill to be introduced to put it to the House and for the House to decide, and when the Speaker starts engaging in debate about the issues and not being the referee, he leaves himself open to the very criticism that undermines respect for his office and, more importantly, respect for our Parliament. Appreciate you joining us this evening. That is Nick Smith, who has been suspended from um, the House. And, well, really, he's on the bench for the next 24 hours.